Hi there, welcome to our series on IGCSE Economics. This is Unit 2, Part 2. Today we're going to be covering the supply curve and equilibrium. If you haven't seen our previous episode, click on the card above. The law of supply states, all other factors being equal, as the price of a good or service increases, the quantity of goods or services that suppliers offer will increase, and vice versa. The law of supply says that as the price of an item goes up, suppliers will attempt to maximize their profit by increasing the quantity offered for sale. How much of a product should I supply? The magic question asked by all suppliers. Producers tend to want to maximize their profit. They try to do this by maximizing the quantity sold. In this example, the supplier is willing to sell three boxes of goods at $10, five boxes at $20, and seven boxes at $30. First you'll see the cost, in this case dollars, on the y-axis. Quantity, boxes, are on the x-axis. The supply curve is upward sloping, starting with a point at $10 supplying three boxes and ending up with a point at $30 where they will supply seven boxes. The supply curve is upward sloping because over time, suppliers can choose how much of their goods to produce and later bring to market. At any given point in time, however, the supply that sellers bring to market is fixed, and sellers simply face the decision to either sell or withhold their stock from a sale. Consumer demand sets the price, and sellers can only charge what the market will bear. If consumer demand rises over time, the price will rise, and suppliers can choose to use new resources or production, or new suppliers can enter the market. This increases the quantity supplied. Demand ultimately sets the price in a competitive market. Suppliers respond to the price that they can expect to receive to set the quantity supplied. The law of supply is one of the most fundamental concepts in economics. It worked with the law of demand to explain how market economies allocate resources and determine the prices of goods and services. Just like the demand curve, let's look at supply curve shifts. A change in price causes a movement along the curve. The higher the price of a product, the more supplies will produce. If the price rises, then supply will rise. This is known as an extension in supply. The lower the price of a product, the less will be supplied. If the price falls, then supply will fall. This is known as a contraction in supply. Let's look at shifts along the supply curve. If we move right along the curve, we can see that prices will go from P0 to P1. More suppliers will be attracted to the market because of the higher price and quantity will increase from Q0 to Q1. If we shift left along the curve, we will see that prices fall from P0 to P2. This will cause suppliers to leave the market and the quantity will fall from Q0 to Q2. Now let's look at shifts in the whole supply curve. If we reduce supply and upward shift in the supply curve, for the same quantity the price will increase from P0 to P1. If we increase supply, a downward shift in supply, the price will fall from P0 to P2 for the same quantity. Please subscribe, like and share, it really helps us out. And check out the quizzes in the description below and check into the Google Classroom if you've got any questions. Equilibrium is where demand and supply meet. This sets the market price and quantity for a good or service. X truly does mark the spot. 
Equilibrium is a state of equality between supply and demand. This is known as the market clearing price, and there's no reason for anything to change. When the market price, P2, is lower than the market equilibrium price, demand exceeds supply. The quantity Q1 will be supplied, but quantity Q2 will be demanded. There will be upward pressure on the market price as people will be willing to pay more and suppliers will charge a premium on their stock. This is excess demand. When the market price is higher than the market equilibrium, supply exceeds demand. There is downward pressure on the market price as people are not willing to pay the higher price and suppliers will accept a lower price to get rid of their stock. This is excess supply. Let's look at an example, the price of oil. In our table, the market price for a barrel of oil is $15. Anything higher than this, and there would be excess supply. Anything lower, excess demand. <clears throat> our first example is suddenly people want more oil. Maybe because the country is developing rapidly. We can see the demand curve shift to the right. This causes a shift along the supply curve and we see a new higher price and a higher quantity. In our second example, OPEC starts pumping more oil. We see the shift in the supply curve to the right, causing a movement along the demand curve. We now see the new price being lower and equilibrium quantity being higher. Can both supply and demand change? Yes, of course it's possible. See if you can draw an example. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe, like and share. We hope to see you next time.